Here is the reaction from the sitting president of the United States to the drama happening over on the GOP side. Take a look and a listen at the commander in chief. You know, it's kind of funny. All these Republican candidates in the primary are trying to beat Donald Trump. And I'm still the only person to ever beat Donald Trump. And I'm looking forward to it again for the good of this country. Okay, so I got a couple of questions for you. First of all, why is he sitting at the kitty table? He looks like he's down here. He's like down here with his little hands like this, right? Doesn't he like like a like a small like a little confused. person? I need to know which photographers and cinematographers the Biden White House hires, because you remember there was that picture with Jimmy and Rosalind Carter where where Joe Biden looked like the Incredible Hulk, like he was going to put Jimmy Carter <laughs> in his pocket. And then now it looks like like he's he's an ant or something. He's sh I don't th there's a little kid at the big table perspective problem. He's, there's, it's bad. Why didn't somebody say, we don't want him to look like a little person. We want him to look big. If anything, we want him to look, you know, larger than life. So secondly, um, Steve Krakauer, my EP, pointed this out. How many takes do you think that took? And is there any way the original script was only 12 seconds? Zero chance. Uh, no. No, zero chance. Uh, he's not a one-take wonder, that's for sure. <laughs> and the sad thing is, we know that that was the best take. They obviously used the best take, and it wasn't very persuasive about no. historical or future events. I think we need to see again. Can we see it again? Can you watch it again? You it was kind it. of funny. All these Republican candidates in the primary are trying to beat Donald Trump. And I'm still the only person to ever beat Donald Trump. And I'm looking forward <laughs> to it again for the good of this country. So that jump cut, as we call it in the biz, where you can see they've sliced it and they zoom in, was obviously there for yeah. a reason. He screwed it up, he couldn't get through it, and they couldn't get a second take, I guess, with him in the original position, or he couldn't get through even that short bit one time, so they had to use the, the up close from the second take. That's that's my belief also, on what happened. This is terrifying. I, I'm not I'm not Steven Spielberg, Megan. I, you know, I spend a lot of my life on camera. You spend a lot of your life on camera. It would just seem to me that, that it, some good direction for the president in that video would have been to open his eyes. I think that uh, <laughs> statements are more persuasive when your eyes are open and you're not mumbling in your sleep while you, okay. while you give them. Th On to victory. Think about it. Think about it. Like Trump, you know, what is Trump? Six foot three. He's a large man. He's always got the nice suit on, you know, he looks together. And then he's looking over at Biden. You're right, I gotta add that to my bit. And he's down here with like the little hands, like I'm, I'm the only one who ever beat, I'm the only one who ever beat Donald Trump. I'm gonna yeah. do it again. It's not, yeah. no one's afraid of that. No one. <laughs> but I suppose, in, in a way, it's, it's even more audacious because in 2020, the guy didn't run a campaign. He occasionally showed up. There were three people in the audience, but he, he stayed in his basement. And this time, he's even live streaming from the basement with the tiny little hands. And I guess what he's really saying is, I don't even need to run, man. <laughs> We've got right. such a lock on the system. I don't even need to run. Well, is that a preview, right? That's one of the questions. Is that a preview of what we're going to be getting over the next 10, 11 months, Michael. Is that the new campaign? Spliced videos controlled by his team where he could spit something out in 10 takes? Uh, certainly, at the very best. Don't forget, 10 or 11 months, Megan, when you're 150 years old as the president of the United States is, <laughs> that's a long time. That's a lot different than 10 months when you're 25 or 30. And so this is the most vibrant, vigorous Biden we are going to get. Can you even imagine what the man is going to look like in October of 2024? No, I cannot. True or false, using your tax refund to pay off credit card debt is smart. False. Donewithdebt.com published a strategy designed to let you keep your hard-earned tax refund and reduce or eliminate credit card debt. Most Americans owe thousands in credit card debt that will take years to pay off, if at all. It's stressful. I get it. Done with debt found that filing bankruptcy is usually not the answer and taking out loans to pay off credit cards can increase debt. In fact, they say it usually does. When you engage done with debt, their legal experts and skilled negotiators will take on the credit card companies for you. Their winning strategies are designed with one goal, solve your debt situation quickly and permanently. 
First things first, chat with a done with debt strategist and explore your solutions. Some debt fighting strategies are time sensitive, so you're gonna need to move quickly. For a free consultation, visit donewithdebt.com. That's donewithdebt.com. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.